for me, I generally like to arrive about an hour and a half before my tea time. Um, for me, how it starts is that, you know, I get myself together and then I head right to the putting green. And when I go to the putting green, I go to the putting green twice before I, before I tee off. So I go first before I hit balls. And it's really just, for me, it's, it's, it's sort of the, the starting line, right? It's the first club I have in my hand. I'm just getting a feeling for it. Um, I'll go on the green and I'm, I'm not necessarily looking to make putts at this point or see the ball go in the hole. It's really just to get an overall feel and kind of get my mind right, get my mind in the place of, okay, I'm in the office now, like it's time to go. Right. And, and really kind of getting some of those juices flowing. I'm just feeling the speed of the greens, visually seeing the ball rolling, getting my muscles moving a little bit. Uh, and then I would go to the driving range from there. Um, my, my regular uh, pregame routine, if you will, is I'll hit anywhere between 30 and 40 balls before I go. Uh, after, you know, doing some moderate stretching and just kind of, again, getting blood flowing. Um, when I'm hitting balls pre-tournament round or pre-competitive round, um, barring some unforeseen catastrophe in my, in my golf swing, I'm not really looking for anything in my golf swing. Um, I'm, I'm just getting a feel for how my body's moving that day, how the ball is flying that day. Uh, and I want to feel a tempo that I can repeat. For me, it's all about tempo. The entire game is about tempo. Um, so I'll hit any variety of little wedge shots, again, just to see the ball flying. Uh, and then I'll move in, I'll hit a few nine irons, no more than four or five, just see how the ball's flying. I'll hit a few five irons, see how the, the ball's flying. And then I'll finish off hitting a couple of drivers. And again, it's, it, it's really just to see how my body feels, see what ball flight my body is producing that day. Uh, and then I'm, I was very lucky. I was predominantly a left to right ball flight player. So I didn't really have to worry about seeing my ball flying right to left and deal with playing it that day. Um, some, some players do, you know, Jack Nicholas was famous for saying, um, effectively dance with the one you brung, right? If the ball was flying a little right to left that day, he'd play it right to left that day. He wouldn't fight it. Um, I didn't really have to deal with that luckily. And then I'll go back to the putting green, um, about 20 to 25 minutes prior to my tea time. And I'll spend time there really hitting nothing but five to eight foot putts. And that is when, you know, I'm going through my full on pre-shot routine with a putter in my hand. And I want to see the ball going in time after time. And then I'll hit a couple long putts just to get a feel for it, you know, for what the speed of the green is that day. And, and then I'm off. Mm -hmm.